Hello, welcome to Moonflower Tarot. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me, and the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin. So the purpose of this video or tarot reading is to figure out does he or she love you? So this could really be anyone in your life. Um, and I just want to state a disclaimer that this reading isn't going to resonate with everyone. So if something doesn't sound right, you can either move on to another pile or just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, so let's begin. I'm going to count down from 10 and that's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the three images or piles starting now. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to start with this pile and I'm going to move uh, the other piles out of the way. So we have uh, for this image the eye. What do we have for you guys? Does this person, um, let's actually start with these. Um, so, does this person love you? Does this person love you? Whoever they are, let's see. So, we've got um, the Eight of Cups. We have. Sagittarius energy and then we have the six of wands it's gonna take a really quick sip of my tea really quick excuse me so I'm seeing with the eight of wands that I mean excuse me the eight of cups that this person has kind of a hurtful past. Um, they might have had to move on from something that was quite heavy in their past. Maybe they have a really complicated relationship with their ex or like an ex, um, this could be an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, um, or maybe just a painful past when it comes to matters of the heart with the Eight of Cups. And they've really had to move on from this. There is some fire energy here or um, maybe Either you or, I'm getting more so from this person though, that they have some strong um, Sagittarian placements in their astrological chart. Um, or they could just be a fire sign um, like Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, but I'm seeing that in order to move on from this hardship in their past, um, when it comes to matters of the heart, I'm seeing that they had to move forward by... Sort of taking on the um, traits of a Sagittarius, which is sort of um, like traveling, not um, not quite um, being anchored to one place. Um, it's like they want they um, immerse themselves into intellectual pursuits and mostly just um, you know traveling and experiencing new things. So new experiences is a really big. A significant thing here and I'm seeing that this person had to sort of rely on these sort of um, activities or pursuits in order to move on from this hurtful past whatever it is and I'm seeing that they are quite um, they're kind of a player like that's honestly the energy that I'm getting with um, especially Sagittarius and and the six of wands combined is giving me some quote-unquote player energy like mm, okay so this person once again enjoys new experiences um they're i think they're the type that really likes traveling or at least experiencing new foods new things new people even and um, they're very adventurous um to, for them that's like all about the um it really does kind of bring out this joy of um, the hunt, if you will, or um, this joy in pursuit, um, like, you know, this energy with the archer, with his bow and arrow. Um, they basically enjoy pursuing, I think, things, and I think that includes people as well. Um, this is more than just um, a romantic thing for them. I think this is really about 
their personality in general they just really like pursuing things in general um as long uh, excuse me along with um experiences and people um new experiences um things like that and this person is quite good at this um i think they might be i don't know if they're much of a heartbreaker but they are good at um charming people and they're um i think they're quite popular with you know the opposite gender or whoever they're attracted to and um, they have dated a lot i think or at least they're good at um sort of um the dating game like they have a lot of um game um if you will hmm. so this doesn't really answer the question but let's get further into um let's get more in, in depth here to see if maybe we can figure some more stuff out so here we have the anchor we have the snake and then we have the fish okay so i'm seeing uh with the anchor i think you've already kind of developed a certain routine with this person where you feel like you're anchored to them for some reason like maybe this is just a sign that you've grown attached to each other um but i'm seeing here that there's someone um the snake represents like maybe a female or s it could be male as well but someone who, somebody with a state a snake like um energy who's sort of stealthy and who might be talking into their ear or maybe talking into your ear um saying but i'm really more so getting that this is somebody who's talking into their ear possibly a female <clears throat> usually female could be male is quite sneaky and kind of telling them things that are maybe um turning the this person against you or just um, or it could just be as simple as discouraging them from pursuing something with you or moving forward with you um hmm, there's some like hater energy um somewhere lurking and um, and then here we have the fish. So I'm seeing that regardless of whatever happens, I think that um, you have a lot of abundance coming your way and prosperity um, in your future regardless of what happens. Because I'm seeing that this person probably, um, like you bring out this person's um, traits they're um, quite Sagittarian in nature, um, like maybe you're kind of exciting or exotic or you're um, different from the rest, like you're very unique and I think this person feels quite attached to you, um, however there is this entity, whoever they are, um, this could even be like the media, I don't know, this could be really any outside external influence that is sort of influencing this person to not move further with the dynamic or sort of discouraging them from really taking the reins and pushing forward moving forward with this this could really be any external influence but it's quite stealthy and under the radar but i'm seeing once again in your future you have abundance and prosperity coming towards you so let's look uh further into maybe some more information so here we have make and then we have pink bubble fairy okay so i'm seeing here that you bring out the good traits in this person and they bring out the positive traits in you um you both bring out positive traits in each other and i think this has to do with a common bond like maybe you both are into travel or you both have like a really big picture view of the world you both share new experiences together and you enjoy that um you know maybe exotic cuisines new experiences just um it's like you both share like this love of pursuing new experiences um or intellectual pursuits as well um, or you have like really deep philosophical conversations, which is, um, you know, another Sagittarian trait. Um, so you do bring out the good in each other, but I think really what this is telling me is this person. Okay, so ultimately, I guess I didn't quite answer the question. So the question is, does this person love you? And I'm seeing honestly from this that they, I think they do love you in the way that 
the only way that they know how to love this may be maybe not in its full capacity um, like maybe they never were quite taught to love um, in a full capacity um, sort of way or like with that hurtful situation that I mentioned in the beginning of the reading maybe that kind of left a bit of emotional trauma in their past where they have a really difficult time um, with unblocking their heart chakra um, but I'm seeing that some way, somehow, even regardless of all of that in their past, this person does care about you deeply and they really do love you in the only way that they know how, regardless of whatever way that is or whatever capacity that is, um, especially um, in regards to uh, their hurtful past. Um, and here I'm seeing make. So I think... Whatever the case, I think the universe is really sending you some message here to get creative. Um, really focus on the elements of your life where you are able to be creative and, you know, make things, create things with your hands. Maybe you're into painting, um, sculpting, making bread, or just being creative in general, like um, maybe artistic pursuits or just creating a new business or side hustle or something. But I'm seeing here that you should focus on that because that may bring love into your life in some roundabout way and this will not only just bring love but it's going to bring abundance and prosperity and sometimes love is in, is included in that abundance and prosperity um, but I'm seeing that regardless of what happens um, in order to manifest things your way including love I'm seeing focus on your creativity that's what the universe is really channeling here so like, uh, comment, subscribe, share if this resonated with you. And I just want to remind you again that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me. And the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So without further ado, I'm going to move uh, straight into group two. Okay, so here we have group two. So let's see, what do we have for you guys? So we have this um, heart here. So does this person love you? Does this person love you? Let's start with these cards here. Ooh, okay. I'm just going to lay them all out here. And sort of organize these a little bit because they kind of blue out of order okay so does this person love you okay so here we have the queen of wands we have the three of cups and two of swords this person is extremely physically attracted to you for sure i think that you are probably pretty attractive um like you embody either like feminine um power um some kind of femininity or if you're male you embody a lot of masculinity um it's like you have a lot of that power um inside of you and this person is attracted to you like on fire like that kind of energy um there's a good chance that you met through friends or maybe the universe is saying to bond with you with each other's friends like that's a way to sort of um grow closer to each other fall in love um, more deeply is to bond with each other's friends or with each other's people or each other's communities or whatever it may be i'm seeing that this person is quite secretive though um with the two of swords i'm seeing that they aren't like really the type of person to just say whatever they're feeling they're more on the reserved side um this person could be an air sign um either air or earth in that case you may have more fire placements like aries uh sag leo in your astrological placements with the wands but this person i'm seeing they have a lot of air or um earth so with air aquarius libra gemini in their chart or on the flip side earth um, taurus capricorn or virgo so they have a lot of that energy um, of being more reserved a little more analytical um, they're not really the type to just put everything out there into the open um, so let's move on and see um we're in depth like is this person in love with you is this person in love with you so far i'm seeing probably yes 
uh, just based on everything that we saw here, but let's try to get more insight into like why they're so secretive or maybe they're just not really the type to at least, you know, say what they're feeling, like put it out all on the table. I mean, some people are just reserved. Um, so here we have the cross, we have the ship, and then we have the mice. Let me just take a really quick sip of my tea. Okay, so there's something blocking this person from sharing their, like professing their love for you, like telling you I love you. Like there's something blocking them from doing this. This might have something to do with maybe you're both from different backgrounds. Like this not this may not necessarily be like ethnicity or race or religion but it could be or it could be um you're just from different sort of backgrounds like your families are different or like socioeconomic backgrounds maybe are different something like that is blocking them from putting everything on the table and also their personality like i said earlier they have more like air or earth in their chart in their astrological chart so they're not really the type of person to lay out all their cards on the table and say everything that they're feeling even though this person is extremely physically attracted to you almost to the point where they're feeling a bit intimidated by you i'm sensing there there's some intimidation um because you're so attractive to them i'm sort of getting this energy that you may have um some venusian placements so you may have some taurus or libra placements in your astrological chart um very very attractive to this person and and I'm also getting some fire energy from you, but I think more so Taurus or Libra, somewhere in your astrolo astrological chart, like either in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Mars. Um, but I am seeing that if you do get a chance to travel together in the future, um, you should take that chance. And obviously, um, this is the time of COVID. If you stumbled across this video after COVID is over and everything's good again like you know fine to travel again the disregard but um right now COVID is going on so i really highly suggest that you wait until it's absolutely safe to travel and do so in, um practicing the utmost safety precautions um but really if you do have a chance to travel with this person in the future or just experience something totally new um or experience some kind of change together there's the universe is channeling this message saying that you should totally take that opportunity because it's going to bring you closer together um, and also like i said earlier um bonding with each other's people like bonding with each other's friends family um loved ones also really going to um bring you closer um i'm saying that this person does love you though just based on all of these things um however there is something blocking them from telling you this like just coming out with it and telling you or at least showing it in their actions um it has something to do with some difference in background or something and then here we have the mice yeah um this person's quite reserved but beyond that there's i think there's some people who are throwing a bit of shade um towards the relationship like maybe they're jealous or maybe they feel like um you two shouldn't be together for some reason maybe because you are from different backgrounds or something like that or you're different in some way and it's like there's people onlookers looking by and kind of using that as an excuse to sort of throw shade but also um i think they have this person might actually have people who are after them because they may actually be quite attractive themselves or you know accomplished or they have like a lot of charisma or charm and i'm seeing that there's quite a lot of people who kind of um want to surround themselves surround them because they're charming and maybe there's some people who are honestly eyeing them up and maybe that's why they're throwing shade your way um but yeah the possibilities are endless let's see what else we have so we have um so we have self-doubt and then we have we have twin okay um you guys so i'm really getting some strong twin flame energy from you guys um 
This could also just be an indication that maybe there's some Gemini in your astrological charts. However, more so twin flame energy. Like even if you are from different backgrounds, um, the reason why you have such uh, strong chemistry, um, you know, I'm thinking like fire, you know, like you're just really drawn to each other in that way. You're just so attracted to each other is because you have like um, a twin flame energy where you're just kind of like meant to meet in either this life or the next life. And maybe even um, you share a past life as well. And you just, that's why you're so drawn to each other. It's like um, magnets. I'm getting that kind of energy. And also, um, I think the universe is channeling this message um, saying that maybe you have some um, issues with insecurity sometimes. I mean, we all do. This is understandable, um, especially given, you know, t today's uh, societal standards when it comes to, um, you know, what constitutes being attractive and all of those things um but i'm saying that yeah don't let those um haters or people throwing shade at you um influence you because ultimately i'm seeing this is all in your head um there's no need to feel this self-doubt and there's no need to be insecure because you are enough and um you know if you really want to, if you really want to rise above this, I mean, you could practice on self-improvement um, or just bonding with yourself, um, like asking yourself, um, what do I need to feel better about me? You know what I mean? Like not to impress anyone else, but yourself. Um, but ultimately, I'm seeing here, don't let this impact um, your personal relationships with people, especially this one, because I'm seeing that um, regardless of if you're meant to end up together or not you have a twin flame energy so you were meant to meet this person um in this lifetime or the next um because you're meant to teach each other a lesson or maybe even um experience something together that's going to be life-changing in some way and i'm seeing that you may have already experienced this in the past um with each other and that's why you're so strongly drawn to each other once again um but to the answer to your question so yes does this person love you um the answer i think is yes they do it's just there's um like you have like different backgrounds or you come from different places or something and that's kind of a sort of a blockage here um with the cross card that we got earlier um along with some some outside influences but that's not really i think it really is in your hands um your hands and th this other person's hands like whether you want to move this forward or not and um i think there's a fine line between um that and then letting like external influences um get in the way because that could also happen as well but it really depends on what actions you take uh towards each other so like comment subscribe uh share if this resonated with you uh group two and i just want to remind you again that i now have an etsy page where you can get personal email readings for me and the link to that etsy page is in the description box below so without further ado i'm going to move into the third group um last but not least group so here we have this group so the bear card Ooh. so what do we have for you guys so does this person love you does this person love you and let's see i'm just gonna lay out the cards um, and it'll get back into focus once i stop moving go back into focus yeah okay so we have the five of pentacles we have the two of cups and then we have the four of wands and i am just going to take a very quick sip of my tea okay so i'm seeing that um Either you or this person has experienced some kind of um, disappointment in the past um, or setback when it comes to finances, or this could even just be maybe um, one, or one of you um, was passed up for promotion or maybe one of you um, asked for a raise and you didn't get the raise or something like that. Like there's just some kind of disappointment, some missed opportunity here in the past. Um, and maybe that actually might have... Um, either cause you both to meet each other or maybe just grow closer to each other or something like that um but i'm seeing that in either your past or their past and that's 
somehow playing, um, I mean, that's somehow significant in some way here. And here we have the Two of Cups. So right away, I'm seeing the answer to the question. Does this person love you? And the answer is yes, because the Two of Cups is all about um, just like two hearts sort of like intertwined, equality, like a relationship that's based on mutual respect and mutual give and take, and also just a feeling of balance. Like when you're together, um, that's an honest sort of energy. I'm getting some soulmate energy here. And in conjunction with this image of the bear, I'm getting like a really warm, consistent energy. Um, and then with the five of pentacles in your past, I'm getting honestly that this person, um, maybe you or this person towards each other, mutually, you have stuck by each other through thick and thin. Um, this person is not like a fair weather type person where like when things are going well, they're, you know, all for it. And then when things are going badly, they're like, bye. Like that's not the type of person they are. I'm seeing this as consistent, um, bare energy. Um, like they may be a bit slow moving, but they are very consistent and they aren't going anywhere. Um, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Or this could be your energy as well. You can um, flip it depending on um, how it fits the situation. Um, and I'm also getting some really strong earth energy from the bear. Um, so Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in either your chart or their chart. Or maybe you're both um, earth signs. Um, that could also be the case because I'm getting some strong earth energy here, especially with the pentacles. Um, and here with the four of wands, yeah. I'm seeing that there is a definite... Um, future with this person if you want it like if you really want it and if this person really wants it i think that there's definitely um the potential for something really really great here um with you know two of cups and the four of wands this is very like binding sort of energy um spiritually binding in a really positive way so um let's look at some more um more more uh, information so here we have the fountain, we have um, the sun, and then we have the ring. Oh wow, okay. So I'm seeing here that I think that's something that might have like brought you closer together or um, helped you to sort of fall in love or facilitate this um, bond with each other is maybe like um some kind of social event like a big social event or ne networking event or something involving like a big party or a big like group event social activities i think this is a sign that this is something that might bring you closer together or it's a good way for you to bond is by going to places like this and right now it is the time of covid if you stumbled on this video after covid um then disregard but right now it's the time of covid and so this could even be like a virtual like a get together or virtual event it's just gonna you know virtual social activity this is somehow whatever it is um this could be a way to grow closer together here we have the sun card so yes the sun is all about warmth feeling in your element something revealed that you that wasn't revealed previously this is just a feel good card you know i'm getting like this vibe of like feeling like the warm sunshine on your skin like the warm um sunbeams it's just a very happy like fulfilling kind of energy it's very beautiful here um yeah i'm getting this energy that um yeah you're very you provide that kind of feeling i think when you're around this um person or when you're together the ring so i'm getting some significance here um like we're I mean, this is clearly showing that this person does love you, and I think you probably love this person as well. Um, but I'm seeing an importance in um, sort of like, obviously, like mutual respect and like um, building a foundation of like equality and um, just equal give and take. However, I am seeing with the ring that there is um, an importance in securing a promise or maybe this is something that's coming in the future um where this might be like a promise as in maybe like an engagement or maybe um maybe you may feel inclined to um bring this up um in terms of like a promise or maybe they're going to bring it up with you but i am seeing this somewhere in your future um the ring i mean obviously um signifies a promise engagement or something like moving moving this to another level um so yeah, it's really just saying that even though this is very slow moving energy from this person or maybe you're both earth signs, so that's kind of like um, slow moving and yet uh, consistent, you know, slow but sure. 
um, getting that um, there is a pretty big likelihood that this will end in something uh, more serious. So let's look at some more imagery. So we have freedom and then we have service. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is also very like strong earth energy service, um, especially when it comes to Taurus or Virgo. So one of one or both of you may have some strong Taurus or Virgo in your astrological charts or maybe even Capricorn. But um, either way, they're all earth signs. Um, and I'm seeing that you guys take care of each other. Um, maybe they feel like taken care of when they're around you. Like they can, you know, um, relax. They can um, put their guard down. You also feel the same way with them. Or you just feel like, once again, a feeling of the sun, like warm. Um, it's like slow but consistent. And it's it's just always really, it's like a comforting presence. Almost like a, a teddy bear um, with a bear energy. And yeah, it's very strong and solid, um, you know, like there's even a rock here, but it's a, like a strong, solid, like comforting energy, like, um, like a big teddy bear, basically, that's always there for you, like that kind of energy here, it, I like it, it's um, strong earth energy, yeah, earth, uh, earth sign energy, and here we have freedom, so I'm seeing that, yeah, I mean, this is quite beautiful, like your bond together, it's like you are able to totally reveal yourself to this person. They're able to reveal themselves to you without fear of judgment. It's like this equal give and take. Like you mutually respect each other. There's this really beautiful energy of um, like maybe even in the past. Like you felt like I can't ever really tell somebody how I'm feeling. Like how I'm really feeling or reveal myself or you know say everything that's on my mind or everything that I'm thinking to someone because I was afraid that they're either going to judge me or that they're not going to accept it or something like that but I'm seeing that with each other it's different like you can really say whatever you're feeling you can share whatever emotions with each other or maybe even sometimes you get into um skirmishes or arguments and yet it always you know the purpose of them the communication that you have i'm seeing is always based on mutual respect a feeling of equality and also a feeling of like this warmth like you're you have each other's back and um, like ride or die like that's the kind of energy that i get and there's a sense of freedom from this i'm getting that you sort of give to each other i'm getting once again with this card even there's a strong soulmate an energy here with the two trees and the heart in the middle and then there's the third eye um Speaking of third eye, like maybe when you met this person, you felt like your third eye chakra opening, um, like your senses were heightened, you're just more sensitive, like the world looks like a bigger place, bigger and brighter, and it's like you just see things that you weren't able to see before, and like even like the little details, um, but the world just looks more profound all of a sudden, you know, like you see things more deeply and feel them more deeply as well. Um, I'm getting that, yes, and um, with all of those things happening, it really was like your third eye chakra opening. Um, this person, I think, um, or just being around each other, I'm getting like the freedom that, um, you know, this loving energy gives you both really allows you to align your chakras. I'm getting like not just your third eye chakra, but crown chakra up here. And then here we have heart chakra, root chakra on the bottom of the trees. Um, I'm also getting like third, um, excuse me, uh, throat chakra, throat chakra, because um, you're able to, you know, tell each other everything without fear of judgment you're you just know that this person is going to be there um at the end of the day and it's just like this once again like this really stable um slow moving but definitely consistent and very like um solid rock like stable rock type energy um it's just it's beautiful so yeah um basically the answer to your question is yes this person does love you and more so um yeah uh like Comment, subscribe, share if this resonated with you. And I just want to remind you again, group three, um, the bear group, that I now have an Etsy page where you can get personal email readings from me. And the link to that Etsy page is in the description box below. So I'll see you later. Bye.